Hey everybody, this is Doc Mac from the Galloping Ghost Arcade out in Brookfield, Illinois. Today is Monday, July 15th, 2019, and we are here with yet another Monday mystery game, this time number 723. It's a lot of games, a lot of games. We got so much amazing weekend, a lot of fun with that. We had two shows going on, a lot of stuff to cover, and then we will unveil this whatever it might be. Last week we put out Beirut, which came out from Sega back in 1989, awesome game. We had, we've already seen the Pete, the machine that he is, 1cc the game, absolutely unbelievable. Pete Gores laid down some initial tech, Pete picked it up, finished it, awesome to see that. Outstanding, so quick too. Uh, just testament to how amazing the players are here. So very cool to watch Pete do that. Last, so for Beirut, Pete Gores and the 10X Championship took first place. Jamie Tibbetts came in second, and then your Gamer of the Year, Chris Plackey, took third. So here's the current standings. The new season started not too long ago. Pete Gores is now in first point, first place for the 10X Championship with six points. Larry Brocky is in second place with five points, tied with Jamie Tibbetts, who also has five points. So still early on, everybody's race to get 30 points. Whoever gets 30 points first will become the new 10X Champion. So with that, all the, the accolades and the gold that goes along with it. Your current 10X champion, James White, he's got the gold right now. He, he wants to hold on to it. James, we, uh, no points so far. We got to see some. I know you want to hold the belt, right? Hold on one second. James White making his way to the microphone. I just want to make a small amount. Nothing to do with 10X belt. Next. James. All right, next Tuesday is my birthday, but the previous Monday here, hopefully I'll bring my mother's famous brownies. Those are, what? That's awesome, James. Yeah, my mom's brownies before. There's a, a few, those that have, they enjoy them. So that's awesome, thank you, James. Are you gonna win this game today? Oh, uh, a crummy day today. It's just, uh... Well, then what a better way than taking the win at Monday Mystery. What was that you said? Well, it would make your day better. You won this game and got your first three points, right? Well... Maybe? Well, of course, I, I just got to say this. I talked to some people today, that, and uh, they made me feel better, but still, uh, I really have a bad day at work, rarely. But actually, we'll see what happens here. I just thought. I just thought. Next Monday, uh, my mom will clearly make so much. They'll be my mom's famous brownies. All right, James White, former Gamer of the Year. There you go. So we are continuing our competition with the arcade one up out in Brisbane this month. Blade Master is the game. So I heard somebody looking for it. Just. Uh, a new player had came in. Hopefully he's putting in a score. It's the top three scores get averaged out. We lost last month. So hopefully play Blade Master this month. Put your scores in and uh, help us take back the win. Like the guys at, in, out at the 1UP are insane. So hopefully some good scores go in. Uh, what else do we have to cover? This weekend, crazy weekend, we were out at the Video Game Summit. Headed up by Dan Valley, awesome show. Todd Freeman, great show. Congratulations to those guys for another fantastic show. We brought a few, ga a few games and uh, got to stop by on Saturday. A lot of fun uh, talking with Walter Day and Brian Colin and Jeff Lee and everybody else who uh, goes and is part of that show. Very fun show. Hopefully there's one next year and make sure that uh, don't miss this next one. As they've been getting bigger and better every year and definitely an awesome show to check out. Definitely a lot of fun to be a part of it. We also were at uh, G-Fest, the big Godzilla convention out at the Crown Plaza. That was a lot of fun. We brought uh, Brian Cullen's Rampage World Tour and of course our Godzilla and Ultraman cabinet out there. So it was a lot of fun. Huge support to those guys and always a fun show. Got to check it out. Uh, we've got a lot of Godzilla fans here too, so very fun. Look back, look forward to being back there next next year and uh, can't wait for that. 
We've got a bunch of events coming up here. This Saturday, Dark Presence Day, one of our developer days. All of our guys from Galloping Ghost Productions will be down here. We've been working forever on Dark Presence. The production company started in 94. This game, we've put a lot of effort into it. Our guys, Tommy Waffles, GGA Jeremiah, Soup Delgado, Brandon Diaz and Phil Pops and Nick Edgerton. Everybody's been working super hard. Eddie Perez. And it's finally so close. So join us this Saturday. We're going to have a beta play testing. We just put out on, uh, on Twitter and Facebook some new artwork from Nick Huddleston, a great uh, artist that we commissioned to do some characters, character artwork. We did, uh, we've shown Titan already. We put out the uh, Veil artwork this week, another one of the characters from Dark Presence. So check it out. This Saturday, it's going to be here for the weekend only. Then it goes back down to our production offices for some more polish and play testing. So we're going to be talking about the game and everything that went into making it from back in the studios before the arcade was even open. So come join us this Saturday here at the arcade for that. We're going to be definitely going to be a lot of fun. So also we have uh, T20 is coming up. That is going to be the weekend of August 9th, 10th, and 11th. And that's our anniversary weekend, right before the, uh, the ninth year anniversary of the arcade. So you've got 9th, 10th, and 11th, the T20 tournament, then that Monday, and then the 13th is going to be our ninth year anniversary. So come join us for that. T20, it's going to be amazing. Probably our biggest one yet. We've been getting a lot of uh, interest already. A lot of people saying they're coming out for it, so it should be a lot of fun. Come join us. Players are going to be, it's the full spectrum of players. You're going to have new players. You're going to have some great players. A lot of fun. Historically, there's been a lot of new games that aren't on the arcade floor yet, so we use that as a way to balance the playing field. So come join us, and uh, always a lot of fun, and it's a great weekend. So hope to see everybody there. Uh, what else do we have to cover? That's pretty much it. Uh, huge thanks to... Uh, Jack Danger of Dead Flip Pinball, who was wearing his Galloping Ghost Pinball shirt. We've been having so many people tell us that they're enjoying pinball. Make sure you check it out. It's two blocks to the east of the arcade. $15 to get in there. The arcade's normally $20, but if you get both, $30, bucks, save yourself $5. Tons. Of, we've got 37 pins down there. Constant. Well, not constantly. The Ar Monday Mystery is constantly putting up new games, but we put up a fair amount of new pins down there. Uh, if those co are coming, it'll happen on Friday for a Friday mystery game. But definitely a lot of fun down at Galloping Ghost Pinball as well. So I guess, that was short, we tore through that. I guess it's time we summon forth former Gamer of the Year to help with today's unveiling. Hey, there you go, Pete. Pete, how was the weekend? It was great. I mean, it was it was pretty hot, but uh, the AC uh, felt nice, like right under the counter there. Thank you, everyone, for came out. I uh, I don't know. It was good to see a lot of the regulars on Saturday. So it was uh, you know, this is the first Saturday I worked in a couple of weeks because uh, my back was out last weekend. But good to see all the regulars again. Thank you uh, for making the trip. Awesome. Always a fun time. So, without any further ado, your Monday mystery game. What could it be? I want to make sure I'm not on the cable. It is Final Blow, released from Taito back in 1988. Skirin, we've had a few people ask for it. Very, uh, might be notably recognized as James Buster Douglas Knockout Boxing on the Sega Genesis. They made a few changes. They changed one of the, the boxers to be James Buster Douglas. And then, of course, they added Ironhead, who was Mike Tyson in the Genesis one. But... This is what that was based on. Let's see, who do we have? Let's have a little bit, you know, this game is meant to be played head to head. So let's call up Tommy Waffles. Let's see, who do we, who do we want? Let's have Jamie Tibbetts. And let's, let's give Tommy Waffles the hardcore championship belt. Let's display some art. Do we have any artwork of what this monstrous... Who's... Here we go. Jamie Tibbetts, are you familiar with Final Blow? I've never even played Buster Douglas, so no. Oh, my. 
Let's see how this goes down. It'll be versus. Champion will walk away as a hardcore champion. Here comes a new challenger. Jamie Tibbetts taking King Jason. Tommy Waffles is Detroit kid. Let's go. Those huge characters. Oh, Tommy Waffles getting punched in the face. It's it's a bit of a slow fight. Oh, oh, oh. He's got him on the ropes. He's bouncing him off. Oh, no. Oh. Not much damage, but he's closed his, his eye. You know, how early on? 1988, you're getting damage from uh, the hits. You can knock their mouthpiece out. Pete, is there sound? Is the sound going? Okay. Oh, that uppercut. Knocking Jamie Tibbetts' head back like a Pez dispenser. That big uppercut. Oh, Tibbetts landing. Oh! He goes down. He's back up. 20 seconds. He's rushing in. Waffles has to get in there. Oh, no. He's getting his face punched in. Oh, no. Three to ten, Jamie Tibbetts, your hardcore champion. There you go. You want to defend? You want to bring James White up here? James White, you are being called up. Matt Burke. James White refusing the challenge. Oh. All right. Zero Soul Reaver, thank you for joining us. Greg, shout out. Lumbo. Carolyn Bla Bain, thank you for joining us. Matt Burt putting Tibbetts on the ropes, going with those body blows. Break it up, break it up there. It's pretty even. Body blow by Matt Burke. Oh, Tibbetts landing some, evening it up. Minute left. Oh, puts him down. Final hit. He's up at four, though. Some of those hits. Oh, that drops Tibbetts. It's, it's going to be very close. He goes the distance. Three to ten. Tibbetts holds on. You in? No? All right, all right. Who's next? Who's next? Jeff Lugas. This is where my streak ends. This is. You're winning this, right? You better. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me do a reset here. It has some weird uh, coin air issues. It doesn't like when you continue at odd points. <laughs> Tibbetts, your hardcore champion, beating Tommy Waffles and then Matt Burke. 
Tibbetts changing up to be King Jason. Versus, Det oh, Jeff Lucas started. Oh. <laughs> that looked like quite a start. That was like, wow, just came out and punched him in the face. All right, Kim Nang. <laughs> this fellow. That big, wild uppercut from Kim Nang. Tibbetts using the walking jab. Putting him in, uh, he's getting close to the ropes. They hit both buttons at the same time and it's an even stronger punch. So you block if you hit up on the stick, you're blocking high. If you hit down, you're blocking, blocking for the body blows. Same thing with the punches. More footsies than uh, a game of Mortal Kombat going on here. Puts Kim Nang down. Drops him like a bad habit. He's coming up. He's back up. 20 seconds left on the clock. Body blow. Body blow. One second left. Two to ten. Jamie Tibbetts. Here we go. Have you played Final Blow before? Never. All right, let's see what you got. Maybe you can dethrone Jamie Tibbetts. James, no? I'll play Tibbetts. All right, James White's in against the winner. We got to make sure that James doesn't go for the ear biting technique. We got to make. Oh! Jailed him in the corner there. Not much damage, but. Kim Nang. King Jason, who's walking away. Jamie Tibbetts on such a win incredible winning streak. For those just joining us, your Monday mystery game, Final Blow, released from Taito back in 1988. Released here in the US from uh, Romstar. This is an original dedicated cabinet. It's a standard dynamo cabinet that they used. Uh, has all the artwork, marquee, bezel, control panel art, side art. Side art. Tibbets. He's all right hanging back. He'll let them come to him. Uh-oh. He's on the ropes now. Oh, lefts and rights. Oh. Wow. This could be it. He's got, oh. Wow. 10 to four. All right. James White stepping up. That's gonna, we're gonna wrap up our Facebook. Jump over to our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash gallopingghostarcade. We're gonna keep streaming for a while. A lot of fun with this one. Great head-to-head -head game. Your Monday mystery game one final time for Facebook is Final Blow, released from Taito back in 1986. James, did you put credits in and hit start? James, are you not playing? James, I think you got to put a credit in. So join us over on Twitch. Thank you, everybody, on Facebook for joining us. We will be back next week with number 724. Don't miss it. Thanks, everybody. One last time, Final Blow, released from Taito back in 1988 in a full original dedicated cabinet. Thanks, everybody. This is Doc Mac from the Galloping Ghost Arcade, and we hope to see you around the arcade soon. Thanks a lot, everybody.